Virgo, how are you? This is your daily tarot card reading and it is for Friday. So let's go into the energy. I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm using a lot of the cards you already know. Um, there's one deck here, Kyle Gray deck that I'm using today, a bit different. Um, so let's see what the first message is for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for Friday. Okay, you've got here from the Alice in Wonderland deck, Uncertainty. Choose who you will become. So you need to choose the vibrational frequency you want to be on. Uh, imagine that version of yourself that you want to be and become it now. Become it now. Align yourself to that frequency now. Let's have a look at the fairy energy around Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, this is about being wise. The fairy energy is speaking of wisdom here. Um, you need to be rock solid now. They're trying to get you to root down into your being, your truth, who you are, and be that energy now, you know. Um, the, the oak main energy is very wise, so it's, it's being very authentic and true to self, to be within spirit, to be the true you. Um, so let's go a bit deeper. So it's about cutting karmic patterns and, you know, from disappointments, uh, a new opportunity is coming. Uh, so you're breaking karmic patterns here with justice card reversed. It's time. It's been difficult. It's been very difficult to cut the karmic patterns. So these are the patterns you've been in like all of your life, previous lifetimes. And there's been a karmic pattern that you've been in the process of breaking and it's been difficult it's been tough you know and what spirit is saying is um if you are vibrationally aligned to your true essence your true self and you embody this vibration of you, who you know you really are um you're going to pull in a very emotionally fulfilling opportunity and you won't have to go searching for it because it's going to come to you um now you have felt disrespected by somebody and that is playing a part in all of this. And that's why spirit is trying to get you to wake up um, and, and kind of, they're trying to awaken you back up to your full vibration. So um, let's see what's going on with your person. So this could be anybody in your life. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, so there's somebody here who is easily triggered. Um, they may be quite tired. Night of Wands in reverse, it's like they've lost their mojo or they're tired or they're fed up or they haven't been putting in any effort, you know. Uh, is this the person that's disrespected you? I don't know. It depends. There could be different things going on for you there. Um, let's have a look at the Lover's Oracle. But there's definitely somebody there who normally would be very passionate, uh, sexual, creative energy. And this person has either got very tired, very worn down, or, um, you know, just, it's like uh, they're just kind of giving up or they're done at the moment. Um, okay, so you've got the, the card here, only time will tell. Only time will tell. And I'll read the next one underneath because that is also showing. Uh, love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So something in a relationship is helping to raise your uh, level of consciousness. Um, let's have a look at another relationship card. So you need to be very much authentic now, very much true to yourself, um, Virgo. Hmm. Okay, so somebody is saying here, I'm waiting for us both to be ready. And that is probably why they're backing off at the moment. This person may have gone a bit silent or they may be backing off. They may be tired. They may be frustrated. It's like they're pulling back. Uh, you may have found that quite disrespectful or maybe this is a different person. But the main point is you um, need to choose now who you're going to become. Who are you going to be and root down into that energy because what you want will come to you. You won't have to go searching, Virgo. Uh, spirit is bringing you something here very emotionally fulfilling. 
um, and all you've got to do is align your energy to it and break this karmic pattern of whoever it is that's been disrespecting you. Um, so let's have a look at a consciousness card for the advice from spirit. Ah, remember your alignment. Remember who you are. And stay rock solid in that. Don't let anybody pull you out of your alignment. Let's have a look at a Kyle Gray card. It's the, I think it's the Ancestor deck that I pulled out last night. Okay. The Divine Director, Intervention and Purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. So you are being guided by spirit to remember your alignment, to remember your divinity, your divine essence, to be rock solid in that and to choose that, to choose that energy, that is who you are, uh, not to allow anyone to pull you out of vibrational alignment. All right, this person might not be ready, but you can't, you know, change your vibration just to suit somebody else. This is about your journey. So that's the message. If you do like it, Virgo, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like a one-to-one -one tarot, just contact me. I'm here and um, I'm sending you lots of love, lots of peace, wherever you are for your Friday.